Hey there, as uh, most of you know uh, now, every year we do have a prayer walk, a prayer of dedication. We go through our, our school and we visit each uh, classroom, each office, and we pray for the people, the kids, the teachers that are going to be learning and uh, working for the school year. Since we cannot do it in person this time, uh, we decided to do it online and have a prayer of dedication for the different individuals that serve and learn and participate in our beloved academy. So I would like to invite you right there where you're at to close your eyes and ask the Lord for direction, for protection, for his blessing upon each one of the teachers, the parents, the board members, and above anything, you know, our our students. So right there where you're at, please close your eyes and join me in prayer. Let's pray together. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for all that you have done in the past, for the amazing protection we have received, for your goodness, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done so far in each one of our families in our precious school. We are ready to start a new school year. And there's so many challenges ahead of us. But we trust that before we get there, you're already there. That we can rest in your hands knowing that we are safe, that you will continue guiding us. Father, we want to do your will. We want for you to show us the way. Give us clarity, discernment, and wisdom. We ask for you to show us where you want us to go, what you want us to do. And at this moment, Lord, I ask for a special blessing upon uh, Principal Carrie Sees. You know the challenges she's facing. You have given her amazing talents. And uh, she has provided much needed leadership during this time. So, Lord, we ask you to be with her in particular. We also ask for each one of our teachers, Lord. Be with Miss LeBlanc. Be with Miss Nevis. Be with Mr. Nelson. You know exactly what they need. You know their 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 concerns and their their the, the challenges that lie ahead of them as they do their best to teach and show Jesus to each one of our kids. So Lord, be with them and with their families. Give them peace of mind, especially in these difficult times of pandemic. Father, we also ask for Miss Olvera. She uh, is dealing at the office with calls and requests. Be with her and her loved ones also, Lord, as uh, we all try to work as a team and uh, try to give our best for the benefit of our, of our children. Lord, there's going to be different volunteers, different people that are going to come and help and participate. Protect each one of them, Father. Each born member, Give them wisdom, Lord. Give us all that opportunity to make a difference, guided by your Spirit. At this point, Lord, we, we also want to bring to you each parent that is making a sacrifice and making the wise decision of enrolling their kids in our school. Our school must be a beacon of light in our community, Lord. So help each family as they are committed to continuing this big effort. Lord, bless each family. At this point, Lord, we want to put in your hands our new project, this awesome opportunity uh, of having a pre-K in our school. You know each parent and each kid that has uh, decided to enroll their kids in our program. 
So we ask also for a blessing upon them and a special blessing upon Miss Jamie Heath. She has all the, the enthusiasm and the desire to shape and mold the lives of the little ones that we want to keep in our institution. So Lord, bless each one of them. Bless her family. And, and, and Lord, we mentioned them at last, but but they're the, the the heart of our institution. They're the reason for us to do what we do. We bring each one of our children to your feet. Protect them, Father. These are very difficult times. They have gone through a tough time also going through the pandemic. So, Lord, we ask that you will be with each one of them as they come to school in person and also those who are taking lessons online. Father, please provide. Give them the wisdom, the intelligence to learn and to take advantage of this precious opportunity. Lord, our school is not just another school, it's not just another institution. Our school is a place where we want to prepare our kids to meet Jesus when he comes back in the clouds. We want for each one of our little ones to be there in heaven, to spend eternity together. And that's why we do what we do. That's why our church is so committed to this amazing ministry. So Lord, we place each one of our little ones in your hands. We thank you for the way, the amazing way that you have provided so far. So we also ask for a blessing upon the donors and the people that are contributing, helping our kids to stay in school. Father, we dedicate our lives as we humble ourselves. We bring everything we are, everything we have to you. And we trust that this year, will be an epic year that will be positive, that we will have awesome lessons learned. Help us, Lord, to recognize your hand protecting, your hand moving. May your will be done every single day this school year. We depend on you. We trust you. We love you. So we dedicate this year to the glory of your name. And we ask this, not because we deserve it, Father, but we ask this trusting in, in Jesus' promises. So in his name we pray. Amen. It's going to be a great year. God bless y'all.